Hello everybody, this is Detecting Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and what you're looking at is a customer wrap box of pennies, which I am actually very excited about. Not that long ago I had a uh, box of customer wrap pennies that was absolutely just amazing. I don't know if this is going to be like that one or not, but we're going to find out. Um, as far as other news, I do have the 500 sub giveaway going on, so make sure you get entered into that. It's pretty simple. And also, there is a good chance you're going to see Detecting Lillian back on the channel again really soon. We shall see. It's kind of up to her. If she doesn't want to, then we don't. If she does, then we will. But we shall see. Anyways, I'm going to crack into this first roll. Now, I don't know if you can notice it. There's different colored rolls in it. There's actually four different types total. We're going to crack into this uh, lone red one right here. See what we find, and we'll be back with our first find. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number four and just had our first decent find. I did have found an S mint mark and a 59D in a couple blazers, but this is the first good find, actually, the box. It's Canadian, not even a young head. It's 1973, but thought I'd show it to you. Hopefully, we get more finds. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll eight, and we just got our first weedy finally. I started getting a little worried there. Uh, this one's got a little... It's probably in the 50s, I'd say. I thought I had more than that. It's a 41 Philadelphia, a little older than I thought. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, almost through roll nine here. Let me just show you. There we go. And this is now my copper cup, and as you can tell, there's a little bit in there. Um, almost to roll number nine, and we just got this. Let me show it to you. As long as I can get this thing st steady. There we go. Got it work. And what do we got? We got a Spain 20, 2004, two cent euro. Not too shabby. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, same roll, another foreign, but it's a more common foreign. One that I don't really consider a foreign, but I still hold on to them anyway. That's right, 1974, one cent Canadian penny. Back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll number 11. Got our second weedy of the box. What do we have here? A really beat up 1952 Denver. It has definitely seen some better days. Look at that. Well, we'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody. Hopefully this box is starting to heat up because I just noticed this bad boy. That is a weedy. Let's take a look. See what we got. Haven't looked at the date yet. It looks kind of modern though, so I'm not thinking it's going to be old. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a modern one, unless a really nice old one. 1945, not in bad shape. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, I took uh, the pennies out of the box that was over here because uh, they started falling all over the place, so I just figured I'd lay them down flat. We're on roll 14, and guess what? Got another weedy. Let's see what it is. A little bit of wear to it. it might be a little older we'll find out another 41 there we go back with the next okay everybody on roll 15 and we got a fifth weedy let's take a look and what do we got for a date as i just flipped it over oh nope didn't flip it over yet oh, there we go another 40s 1945 a little bit of damage to it we'll take it back to the next okay everybody this is something that we all love to have happen it is just like yes it is so cool look at this doot, 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 doot. look at that i just made nine cents how cool is that ding 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 back with the next find Okay, everybody, I have finished up all the double crimped up rolls. Now all I have is the, you know, the half bank wrap, half crimped rolls. Uh, these two here are a different color. We're going to do these ones first and then get into the last of these. Um, so far, not too bad. Got five wheats, um, four Canadians, one other foreign, which is a uh, 2004 euro, I believe, two cent. A uh, couple of nice blings over here, 59s, the 69s, uh, the S's which is cool, and of course, a dime. Well, we'll be back with the next. Okay, buddy, we're literally halfway through with this box, and not a whole heck of a lot of finds. I'm really hoping this last half picks up. Um, we have literally five Wheaties, there's two 41s, two 45s, and a 52D, four Canadians, and then we got the one uh, two cent euro. Uh, these right here are some BU coins that I liked. Um, the, the other ones here are 59s and 59Ds, 
And then we had a couple of S mint marks, but look at the copper. Lots and lots of copper. That's about the only highlight of this box so far. So I'm hoping this second half is really going to heat up. We'll be back. Oh, okay, everybody just found our sixth one of these. Look at this. Only six so far, but we'll definitely take it. It's crusty, it's beat up, it's not looking great, but what do we got for a date? 1953 Denver. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 31 and just got, uh, I believe it is the seventh weedy of the box. Ouch. Low count, but we'll still take it. And what do we got here? A 1949. Hopefully you guys can see it. Nine. It's a little crusty. Let's see if I can wipe it off a bit here. Let's see if that helped at all. Yep, there it is. 1949 Philadelphia. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, we're on roll 34. Just came up with another wheat penny. Wheat ears up first. Let's take a look. Probably in the 50s. Let's take a look. See. 1944, one of the most common ones. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, on roll 38, and we have our ninth weedy of the box. Let's take a look, see what we got. All the saw was weed ears. I don't know. Hard to say. 1940. That is actually the oldest of the box so far. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, we are on roll 41. Just came across our tenth wheat penny of the box. Let's take a look. 1949 Philadelphia. There we have it. Back to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 43 and just came up with the 11th wheat penny of the box. Came up eat your uh, wheat ears first. Let's take a look. Got a little bit of damage, probably in the 50s. 1944 again. We'll be back with the next. Okay, everybody, just open up the roll with the Canadian Ender and one to show it to you. See what we have. Here we go. There it is. That, I believe, is a young head, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen the date yet. Let's take a look. And it is 1963. Uh, second last year, Canadian uh, Elizabeth Younghead. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, it was uh, on roll 47 and actually had a wheat ender and I missed it. I didn't check out the dates, but here we go. 1953D, and I totally missed it. Oh, well. Good shape. We'll take it. That's weedy number 12. We'll be back with the next, if not the wrap-up. Okay, everybody, same roll, roll 47, and we have weedy number 13. Let's take a look. 1945 Philadelphia. And there we have it. Back with the next. Okay, looks like this box is starting to heat up the very next roll. Look what we got. And I assume that this one's going to be in the late 50s because it does have a little bit of its original luster to it. Let's take a look. And it is 1956 Philadelphia. But wait, there is more because I've already seen it. Right here, this one came up beat first. 1948, a little beat up. But there we go. That's weedy number 14 and 15 of the box. We'll be back. Okay, everybody just rolled out roll number 50, and it's not going quietly into the night. Look at this. We got another weedy. This is our 16th of the box. 1946, Philadelphia. We'll be back with the next. Okay, everybody, that box is done, and we're going to be into the wrap-up in just a minute, and I am actually going to see how much we have in there. Look at all of that. That is all just copper, this whole cup in this awesome Boston Red Sox. Copper cup. That's what I'm calling it. The copper cup. So we'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Here is the wrap up. And what we have over here is 1940, 41. There's two of those. Followed here by two 44s. Then three 45s down here. And a 46, a 48, and two 49s. Then in the next column here, we have a 1942D. Two. Uh, excuse me, 52D, two 53Ds, and lastly followed by a 56 Philadelphia. Now, the one thing I did notice about this here, obviously there was nothing pre-30s. Yeah, that happens. There's also no 09s in this box. And as I pointed out earlier, there was a ton of copper. And some of these coins actually look like they were in a fire, they were burnt. More than like the average I would expect to find. 
Um, so this was like a really unique box, and I did take as close a look at it as possible. Next row is all the Canadians. There's only eight of those uh, with 16 weights. They're usually kind of similar in number, so that seemed a little odd as well. Uh, for the Canadians, we had a 63 young head, and the rest were a 68, 73, 74, 78, 80, 87, and a 91, straight in order. This one over here is the 2004 2 cent euro Spain. Uh, that one there is followed by a toner that I had found. It's 1992. It looks kind of purpley. Possibly also in a fire, but just toned a bit. I don't know. And next, of course, is the um, the dime that I found, which was in 1999. <clears throat> um, this column here is uh, all my estimate marks, which were, there was a 68, 69, 71, and 272s. All S's, which is great. This column right down here is all my 59s. There was two 59s and three 59Ds. This right here is all the BU coins. Now this is going to seem kind of funny to some of you is that I did this, but I did. Um, this right here is two, 68, uh, two 1968 Philadelphia is followed by a 72. Then we have an 85, which is a more common date. But even more odd is there's a 92 and a 99. And these things look like they were just taken from the mint. Just absolutely brilliant, uncirculated condition. So I'm holding on to them for now. We'll see. But that's it. That's the wrap up. Uh, this was actually a lot of fun. And like I said, there was a lot of copper. And you know what? I'm going to see exactly how much that is. And I'm going to roll these in two seconds. Okay, everybody. Here goes the first stack of five rolls of copper. Followed by the second stack of five rolls of copper. Followed by two more rolls. It was actually 608 total. Uh, for copper, is that a high, low, average number? If you guys can let me know, I'd appreciate it. Well, that's it for this uh, this hunt. Until next time, happy hunting.